Hello everyone. My paper presentation topic is Imaging and Histopathological Correlation of Lung and Mediastinal Masses, a cross-sectional study presented by Dr. Kavishri N.H., Junior Resident, Department of Radio Diagnosis, GMC Kota. Aims and objectives of my study are, the study was undertaken to establish the role of CT in comprehensive evaluation of lung masses and to study the efficacy of CT-guided fine needle aspiration cytology with the histopathology. Lung cancer is the commonest fatal malignancy in both men and women. Carcinoma bronchus is by far the commonest and most important primary tumor of the lung. Lung cancer is the only visceral malignancy which gives an early royal clue of its existence. CT serves as a dual role in the patient suspected to have a lung carcinoma based on the plain chest radiograph. Initially, it may substantiate, substantially facilitate the diagnostic evaluation by providing more precise characterization of the size, contour, extent, and tissue composition of a suspicious lesion. For lesions which are indeterminate on CT evaluation, transthoracic fine needle biopsy most per, can be per, performed on such lesions using CT guidance. Materials and methods. It's a cross-sectional type of study which, which included 50 patients who had undergone CCT test in the Department of Radio Diagnosis, Kota, Rajasthan for any respiratory symptoms and suspected of having a lung or a mediastinal mass on X-ray or on clinical basis. Patients were subjected to CT-guided fine needle aspiration cytology for histopathological diagnosis after a mass was detected on CCT chest. Inclusion criteria were patients with respiratory symptoms and suspected of having a lung mass were included. Patients willing for needle biopsy were also included. And the exclusion criteria were patients already diagnosed with a lung or a mediastinal mass on a CECD chest and patients unwilling for needle biopsy and patients with abnormal RFT were excluded. Here is an image of case 1. It's a 12-year-old female presented with respiratory symptoms and was suspected of having a lung mass on chest X-ray. It shows a heterogeneously enhancing posterior mediastinal mass with internal calcification, with adjacent rib involvement and neural foraminal extension, indicating a neural origin tumor, which was diagnosed as paraganglioma. Case 2 shows a image of heterogeneously enhancing mass with internal necrotic areas involving entire right middle lobe and adjacent anterior segment of the right upper lobe with the media, mediastinal lymphadenopathy and the lesion also had, the case also had hepatic and bony metastasis. Case 3 shows a lobulated heterogeneously enhancing soft tissue density mass in the posterior superior segment of right lower lobe forming an acute angle with the chest wall reaching up to the posterior pleura. Case 4 shows an image of an irregularly heterogeneously enhancing mass in the apico-posterior segment of left upper lobe, indicating the adjacent, invading the adjacent part of second rib, T2, T3 vertebral body, posto-vertebral junction of the second vertebra, suggesting a pancos tumor. Results of my study are, CT evaluation of lung masses were carried out in 50 patients, referred to the Department of Radio Diagnosis with the primary objective, to define the nature of the abnormality and to provide a possible diagnosis in terms of malignant or benign lesion. Biopsy was performed under CT guidance in 50 cases. The observation regarding demography, clinical and other diagnostic procedures, CT evaluation and FNAC are compiled here. On CECT, 82% of the cases were primary lung masses, 8% of the cases were diagnosed as lung metastasis, 2% of the cases were neurogenic in origin and 2% of the cases were thymoma. 6% of the cases were mediastinal lymph nodal masses. So, on histopathological diagnosis, 15, 15, cases were, uh, 15 cases turned out to be adenocarcinoma among the 41 primary lung masses. 9 were small cell carcinoma, 8 were spammous cell carcinoma and 5 turned out to be large cell carcinoma and 3 were diagnosed as other infective etiology which were not in the primary lung masses and three were lymph nodal masses. One was a thymoma and one was a neurogenic tumor, which is a paraganglioma and four were lung metastasis and one was a carcinoma tumor. Morphology of lung masses on CT. Five out of the total cases were of size four to six centimeter. 10 out of the total cases were six to eight centimeter. 12 cases were eight to 10 centimeter average size and most of the cases, which is 14, were more than 10 centimeters in size. 
five cases had smooth margins for the counter, which indicated a benign etiology. Twelve percent, twelve cases, and twenty-four cases had lobulated and irregular counter, indicating towards the malignant lesion. Solid homogeneous lesions were eleven. Solid inhomogeneous lesions were thirty. And the three lesions had central calcification. Five lesions had peripheral calcification, and none of the cases had air bronchogram. Other demographic details from my study. 78% of the population were male predominance, 22% of the population were females, and 8% of the cases belonged to less than 20 years of age, 12% belonged to 20 to 40 years of age, 28% belonged to 40 to 60 years of age, and 52% belonged to above 60 years of age. Based on CT evaluation and guided biopsy of lung mass lesions, there were 86% malignant and 14% benign lesions. Among the malignant, 82% were primary lung masses and rest 18 included other mediastinal masses and the metastatic lung lesions. In the malignant group, majority were adenocarcinoma, which were 15 in number, contributed to 40%, followed by small cell carcinoma, which were 9 in number, contributed to 24%, followed by squamous cell carcinoma, which were 8 in number and were 21%. Lesions having smooth margins on CCT chest indicate a benign etiology and the lesions with irregular and lobulated margins indicated towards a malignant lesion. In patients found to have primary lung mass, adenocarcinoma was the most common pathological type found on a needle biopsy. Male to female ratio was 3.5 is to 1 and most, case, most cases with lung masses belong to age group of 60 to 80 years with the average of mean, mean age 60 years. Most of the malignant lesions had size of more than 8 cm and an irregular margin. Most of the lung masses had inhomogeneous density and few had both central and peripheral calcification. In addition to morphological evaluation, CT provides an additional information regarding the staging of the disease, which increases the specificity and sensitivity of the CT towards diagnosis. CT-guided FNAC is of utmost use in cases where pre-biopsy evaluation and imaging suggests that the probability of malignancy is high and present. These are my references. Thank you.